A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone in good spirits? He should sing a song of praise. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church, and they should pray over him and anoint him with the oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The fervent prayer of a righteous person is very powerful. Elijah was a man like us, yet he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and for three years and six months it did not rain upon the land. Then Elijah prayed again, and the sky gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. My brothers and sisters, if anyone among you should stray from the truth and someone bring him back, he should know that whoever brings back a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. The word of the Lord. Let my prayer come like incense before you. Let my prayer come with incense before you. O Lord, to you I call, hasten to me. Hearken to my voice when I call upon you. Let my prayer come like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, set a watch before my mouth, a guard at the door of my lips. For toward you, O God, my Lord, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of life. Let my prayer come like incense before you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced the children and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. A long time ago when I was a seminarian, there was a mother of another seminarian who was dying of cancer. My family knew her well and we were friends, especially because of our bond as seminarians studying for the priesthood. So you can imagine how hard I prayed that she'd be healed of her cancer. I prayed as hard as I could. I prayed with all the faith that I could muster. I would stop and see her as often as I could. And I really believed that God would hear and answer our prayers and cure her. But she passed away. I was devastated. I wondered what I had done wrong. I wondered why God didn't hear my prayer. Well, St. James this morning isn't really much help. He says, is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church and they should pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of the faith will save the sick person and the Lord will raise him up. I know I've anointed a lot of people as St. James instructed, but like the mother, the Lord did not raise them up. So is James offering us a false hope? 
No, I don't think so. This is why. About two years ago, I was back in Wisconsin for a vacation, and my mother, my brother-in-law was seriously ill, so I visited him at a care center, and I anointed him. He was rather agitated when I first came in. And he wasn't conscious in the sense that I was there, or maybe even where he was. But as soon as I talked with him, I told him I would anoint him, and then I anointed him with the oil. A wonderful calm came over him, and it was noticeable to everyone who was there, especially he was his son who was there from Arizona. And I have had the same experience with other people that I have anointed. God is still among us, healing. It doesn't mean that people won't die, as many of you know here from your own experiences of losing a lost one. But it means that God heals and God strengthens spiritually. We have a special sacrament for that, the sacrament of the sick that assures us of God's healing, as St. James himself mentioned. But maybe, as Jesus indicated in the, in the gospel, we need the faith of children to really believe that. Let us pray.